Good afternoon, afternoon. more like. Yeah. Afternoon here. Uh, it's half past one and we've been down by the pool most of the morning, other way. Mm. Just chilling, reading our books. But we've been really getting into it, haven't we? Yeah, it's been nice to like switch off like from social media because I find that me personally, I have a massive habit of just what you could call doom scrolling where I just sit there and I just scroll through Instagram and just looking at absolute rubbish. Uh, nothing that benefits my day in any way, shape or form. I might get up to date news on Spurs and, and transfer targets and rumours and things and injury updates, whatever, but it, it isn't changing my life at all in any way, shape or form. And, and then only really like having to talk about to me what you've been looking at, which mm. I find really boring and I feel like it is definitely something that has affected our relationship and if anyone else like feels the same it's yeah um, it is a real um problem and I feel like I think it's a problem it's a massive yeah social media is massive do you know what I mean we're, we're all we're all um gripped by social media in one way form or another yeah. do you know what I mean even now you're watching YouTube so you're I think I read a really good quote and it was like FOMO um the fear of missing out and that's how we feel when it comes to social media the fact that if we're not scrolling then we're going to miss out on something um oh. and then it spoke about jomo which is the joy of missing out and spoke about how joyful it is to not be part of that social media and yeah. actually live your life and take in all the beautiful things it's like we've been yeah, sat around the pool and I could just be sat there lost in my phone and it wouldn't have mattered if I was sat here with this beautiful view in front of me like the pool and, and Jess here with me I could have been sat at home on my bed just scrolling yeah. through it wouldn't have made a difference but you put the phone down and you're able to then sort of take in your surroundings and be present in the moment and enjoy life for what it is without the the sort of harshness of social media yeah, sort and of all the like negative, bombarding you the negative that comes with it like even the scrolling even though you feel like you're not taking in the negativity you're, that is what you're doing you're taking in so much negativity you're, yeah. you're seeing people argue if you are on social media and you're a content creator you're seeing people be horrible to you you're taking in all those emotions yeah. and it's so important to, to get rid of that because that negativity is so meaningless in your life absolutely absolutely and so now like obviously Jess bought books with us and I said oh yeah I want to read a book and I started this holiday just by doing that sat on but my phone yeah, yeah not not yeah not and it was funny because I said to him because I read I read a book and I said look what I've learned yeah. stuff today what have you learned and I've like, not really learned anything <laughs> yeah and I really learned anything I felt like I had that day bettered my life yeah where you had done absolutely nothing so you'd, you'd made your life more negative by scrolling so yeah so i would made that sort of conscious decision and obviously once Jess mentioned it to actually you know, do you know what I am going to put the phone down and I'm going to be limited on it and I'm going to sort of get myself into a book and I'm reading the book at the moment which is um, rewire your mindset. mindset and it's all about changing your perception on your happiness your you know your success and you know sort of turning the I can't into I can's and, 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 and that's so I'm about 70 pages in but it's, it's been good you know it's been nice to sit there and read that it's been refreshing like I'm not thinking about social media at this moment in time like you know I might have a look at it on the odd occasion but if I find myself looking at it I'm like no put it down and then I'll, I'll put it down and then go back to reading the book which is nice I'm sitting there just chilling we've got music playing yeah, it's like, so nice no so one's around the pool it? like it's just us it's just so calm and content it feels really good and it good. feels that within our relationship but then we're we're also then we're then also able to then have like deeper conversations Mm. based on points in the book and we sort of then can ask us each other questions about what we're learning and what we're reading um and that's what i really missed i think in our relationship like them deep meaningful conversations um which you can give me through your let's and let's be honest like you don't need to have deep meaningful heartfelt conversations every time you speak to your partner it can just be very surface level but it is so good to have those deep meaningful conversations and if you're not i guess taking ownership of the issues that you're struggling with or the problems that you are partial to or or a contributing factor to and you're not 
looking to better yourself or not taking on board valuable information, you then have nothing to offer your partner in terms of conversation. Because if I'm just scrolling on my phone one day looking at Spurs stuff and I go, oh, look, James Madison, you know, he's, he's doing well in training. And I, I, you know, I, I, in the end, I couldn't even bother to listen. <laughs> Odegaard's injured, he's not playing the North London derby. It's, it's like, all oh, right, and it's so, it's, it, the conversation stops there. And I'd, I'd start saying to you, I'm, I find you really boring. <laughs> And, and that was because purely our conversation was that. Yeah. And like, it was like, this is really boring. Like, this is doing nothing for, for my brain. Like, might be doing something for yours, but it's not for mine. And so, no. and I think that we just, yeah, we have to take responsibility for each other's happiness as well as making yourself happy. Exactly, exactly. But so. I like that quote that you said to me today, the why. Oh, yeah. So it was like, um, ask yourself four why. Yeah, to get to the root cause of a problem or the root cause of, of something you've got to ask for why so it was like why do you want to go to the gym when I want to be better but why do you want to be better because I want to I want to feel more confident why do you want to be confident the story the story he gave was yeah why do you want to feel more confident because I want to get attract a partner you know blah 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 or why do you want to attract a partner because I'm lonely and I want I want companionship so there's it's the fear of being lonely and it's it's it goes back to the, the whole reason why you want to get in shape yeah I'll put it on my Instagram so you can you can see it a bit better than obviously I'm trying to relate now because I only just read it myself but um, it's well worth a read this book I do I'm only as I said I'm only 70 pages in but so far it's, and I haven't read many books to compare it to no. so I can't give you a, a stellar review on it but it is it is a good book so far I think I the main it. thing for us is to be able to take this back to the UK and our daily life because at, mm. at this moment in time we're not living no. real life but this this um we, it's, this is getting a bit of a, a counseling session at the moment in terms of us with youtube but what we want to take away from this is to to then yeah as you said take this back to the uk and continue on this path like together and we want to push on it's given us like you know having having this time and here has been a, a huge like reset and yeah. mind shift for us to you know, re-figure out the why in which we do things. Mm. And we've, this is the first time we've been to Marbella. We absolutely and love we, it here. We, the, the, yeah, it's fantastic. Like, it's the, the, the people around, it's so friendly. Like, um, the locals especially, like, the, the, the views are insane. The properties are immense. The, the food is so food good. food has been so good. Um, and we've said, like, we need a place out here. Oh, I just wanted to update you on the little birdie as well, because obviously that was like yesterday and it was a very sad, sad day. Um, yeah. But we, we checked on him this morning and he is still there. But I think it sort of gave me a little bit like more clarity like when I went and looked at him again today. Like I just need, I think I needed to go and look at him. Just to, yeah. I think it made me feel a little bit better. Did it? Yeah. Because I was really worried that it was going to make me feel really sad. Oh, really? Yeah, but I thought, no, I'd just be brave and go and look at him just to see if he's all right. Yeah. Obviously, he's not all right because he's dead, but yeah. I think that I've sort of, today, I'm just glad that I was there with him, really, and he just didn't die laying on his back, scared. Mm. So, yeah, that was the update on little Carlo. We named him Carlo. 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 Gave him a Spanish name. Um, I think a Spanish name anyway. But yeah, for the rest of the day, we're going to go back around the pool, chill, and then we're going to go out for dinner tonight. Where are we going? Uh, La Sala. La Sala. La Sala. We went to a Oak restaurant. Oak Firehouse. And it was next door to it, and it, it looks busy. Oak Firehouse was recommended to us, and it was a fantastic restaurant. The food was incredible, but... When we got there, it was empty, and La Sala next door was heaving. Yeah. It was a real vibe, real busy, so we are like, well, we're going to come we're gonna back. We're going to go there, because there. there's a reason that it's got to be busy. Yeah, it's got to be good. So we've got a table this evening, 7 o'clock, on the route on the uh, garden terrace, uh, which is out the front, so yeah. we'll sort of be in amongst it all, which would be nice. Looking forward yeah, to it. Yeah, I am as well. But a pretty low-key lunch, in the sense it's just not very nutrient-dense at all. Well, yours wasn't. I had, I chicken had escalops sushi. and some cereal. Susie? Susie? So. <laughs> <Susie. laughs> I had sushi. <laughs> Susie. <laughs> Susie. Susie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so dinner tonight is going to be a nice, nutrient dense, You've got this, good food. One of our protein yogurts. These are really good. They are very good. They're really yeah, good. We need to bring those to the UK. We're sad that they're, they're not at home. Mm. Sin gluten. 
No idea what that is. It means no gluten, I'm guessing. Well, si, sin. Uh... They wouldn't have it on if it didn't have it. They wouldn't be like advertising yes, that gluten. there's gluten. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> lots of gluten. Yes, gluten. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I agree. So it must be. It must mean that. But someone, hopefully, someone can tell us. Let us know. Um, I'd be. I will be sad to leave here. I'm gonna be really sad to leave here. Yeah. But it's what it is. Exactly. exactly. And if we don't say goodbye to Marbella, we'll never be able to say hello to America. Exactly, which so, is gonna be very yeah. exciting as well. <laughs> but yeah. So we're gonna go back down to the pool in a bit. evening um, to get ready so we've got dinner at seven o'clock so we need to get there for them so we need to leave by sort of 20 to 7 really so we to get ourselves ready we've got to wash our hair haven't we mm. the hair wash dry <laughs> never a good day so yeah we're gonna we're gonna get in the shower wash our hair is get hair dry hair isn't it i haven't seen nothing looks i think there is one but it just needs to find it yeah. It's going to be one of the drawers somewhere. I, will find one. I saw the. I've seen a bit of an attachment, but not the actual hairdryer. Yeah, I saw the worrying. attachment, yeah. We'll find it. We'll find it. But I think we need to start getting. I've got myself some granola, I'm going to have that. And then yeah, we're going to go wash this. And then we're going to get in the shower right. and stuff, get ready, and then we will take you with us to dinner. We shall. Here she is, all ready. We are back, ready for our. Night Second night. to last night out. Sad. This is very sad. That is very sad, isn't it? Very sad. Um, but Jess is looking unbelievable. I don't know where she's going. Sort herself out again, I think. Um, but I, uh, this is what I'm wearing. I never normally. I'm not kind of this this outfit kind of guy. Linen trousers, open shirt, looking like a '80s porn star. <laughs> But uh, I'm kind of, kind of liking it. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of thing. A bit bloated today, which is um, I wouldn't say it's unlike me because I, I know why I've been eating. Not the best, but not you know, not, not the worst, but not the best. So I'm a little bit bloated. So I feel a bit in, not insecure, but a little bit apprehensive about having an open shirt and my gut hanging out. <laughs> it's not looking the best right now. It could be a lot, a lot tighter than it normally would. Um, but we're still going to go with it. We can, we can do this, this shit up if I need to. It looks but, really good. But Jess is looking absolutely amazing. The dress is from O Polly. It Shoes. Is. The boobs are. The boobs are boobing right now. They, they are. are they bursting out of the they seams, are aren't they? Uh, really like your hair tonight. That's why your hair looks really good. You curled those fronts, didn't you? Yeah. You decided yeah. against it. Decided against what you said. That's just you all over going against what I say, isn't exactly. it? Like a rebel, rebel child, isn't you? You say no, I do it anyway. Yeah. But yeah, looking good. So we are going to, um, let's go this way. We are going to uh, La, Salle. La Salle tonight, which is next to Oak Firehouse, what we went to on Tuesday. Um, it looked well busy in there when we got there, to be fair. So we're hoping for a good vibe tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Should be good. Nice food, good vibes. That's what we want, really. Yeah. So we're just going to go and take some pictures, I think, out, outside, aren't we? But yeah. And then we're going to head off. We'll take you with us. Show you what we're eating. Yeah.
after our lovely meal. We did have a cheesecake. Fine dining, we had a cheesecake, got home early, got ready for bed and then decided we wanted something to snack on. Mm. So we went and to yeah, McDonald's. Yeah, like, we should have got ice cream from a little mini mart. Yeah. And I was like, there's a drive through McDonald's literally down the road, so off we went. So I've got myself an M&M McFlurry and I've got an Oreo. Oreo McFlurry. Um, this is really good. What, what England doesn't do, which Spain does do, is put chocolate sauce in it. Yeah, he said to me with chocolate sauce. Yeah. And he said with that, chocolate sauce, I was like, really yes, That really makes please. a big difference. Um, they have pulled pork burgers on the menu. I've never seen this in my life. Where is this in the UK? Why have we not got pulled, yeah. pulled, pulled, pulled pork burgers in the UK? That Seriously, McDonald's UK, step up your game because Spain are outclassing you right now. Yeah. We need to get some pulled pork burgers on the menu. Um, but yeah, we're going to sit and enjoy our McFlurry. Mm. Just sit and enjoy the silence. Um, apart from the dog barking. You won't be able to see much over there, but... Yeah. Let's see. Paul's nice and lit up. It's looking beautiful. Pitch black. But absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Jess has already decided to start eating my one. Peanuts. Peanuts? Seven and peanuts? Oh, even better. Even yeah. better. Right, I need to go because I need to eat this, so we're gonna catch up after. Go. I'm gonna catch up after. Where are you, babes? I think that we are gonna hit the sack because we are shattered. What is this? Oh, is that a blanket? No. A little bit. Is that a <laughs> So, it's freezing. You're going to have to definitely turn that down because I'm bloody freezing. It says it's, well, it says it's 21 in here. Is there a diva in here? It says it's, well, I've just turned it up to 23. It's 20, it says it's 20.6 at the moment. I don't know if I want a duvet. Well, I do. <laughs> I love it. You can, you can have it all. I'll just have that cover. I can take it off if I don't want it. Yeah. I'd rather have option. <laughs> but we are gonna, we're gonna go to bed. So we've got our last full day tomorrow. Very it's very, very sad. I don't wanna, it goes so fast, which is really frustrating. Yeah, like, I don't want it to go, I don't wanna go home. I don't wanna go home yet. And obviously we're not going home just yet. We've got another day, tonight and tomorrow night. But if we don't go home, we don't get to do America. That's, that's gonna be a mega, that's gonna be mega exciting. So, we just need to embrace it. We will be back to Marbella, that's, that's 100% for sure. But for now, we're gonna enjoy the last night or two. And then, yeah, we shall see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you like it. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. And we'll see you on our final day.